the beautiful thing in choreography when you have it and you you feel it and you are on stage and you realize okay I love what I do and I love this what I and everything is perfect. Here we are with Chris and Nor from Nuremberg. Hi. How are you? Very good. Fine. They Very had good. they had two workshops today. Yes. Two? Yes. How was the workshop? Beautiful. Workshops always in festivals. Uh, what I love in festivals, like that's more the platform, the place for more inspiration or deepness of the technique. Like uh, you can experiment with uh, new techniques or like. Uh, fashion moves like yeah. which is there and that, therefore a uh, festival is beautiful in our workshops we had ones with the head technique and so you can focus very strong on one movement one topic and make everybody understand the different ways of moving the body and the other workshop was ah fusion fusion fusion, fusion. fusion. Uh, uh, it's very 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 funny because bachata is growing so beautifully and fast and you can mix many different styles from urban bachata from chizomba a little bit and uh, like this we try to give the, the students um, like some so they can open their mind okay. to adapt other styles and to experiment later on their own like okay how can i create my individual style okay like also with the music that's uh -huh. changing with the character musicality so can, exactly you can adapt with your character of moving and this is uh, what we did in the fusion workshop today okay so and you i i know that you are doing so you are very good dancers from Nuremberg, one of the best but you are as well chore choreographers so I want to ask you about choreographies. Uh, what is the most difficult thing for a choreography and the best thing? So um, the difficult part to make this choreography like with music and with the movement you love to come. Um, yeah, to combine it yes, together. Yeah? Me, I'm, I have to dance with the music and with the mirror and I dance all the time with the music and then the music is stop and i forget everything yeah, and you forget it so maybe not, of course recording or so mm -hmm. like example yesterday i had lady side show yeah and, and it, it was amazing <laughs> yes and the beginning is always difficult but the beautiful thing in choreography when you have it uh -huh. when you have it yeah and like like example when we when you practice it and you you feel it okay when you feel it and you are on stage and you realize okay i love what i do and i love this what i and everything is perfect uh -huh. and of course after the the stage yeah it's like a building so at the beginning it's very difficult i guess to start the combination what a, and with the music it's gonna be good or not but once you have it you enjoy it yes do you have uh, lustige, so uh, uh, funny moments in the choreos when you practice the choreos or when you do the shows in the backstage? Always, always, oh always. Yeah. <laughs> of course, the closer you get to a show, the funny part is like uh, <laughs> more, more nervous. making nervous than funny. But uh, of course, backstage is uh, everybody. You see, you you observe how everybody's dealing with uh, the the nervosity, how to power up, like how to uh -huh. get in the mood, the beast mode for the stage. Uh, that's very nice to observe, and how everybody's dealing with that differently. And and the best part, definitely after the show. After the Once show, it's, it's over. It's like over uh, and then enjoy the party because after that you have a party and then you can dance yes. and you look like nice because you were in a choreo and then you look like nice thank you for the answer because it's very interesting for example in the back backstage i was thinking you really know how the people is when when they are nervous and how they react yes. this is true it's true huh? yes this is like uh yeah you see the the person from another perspective what do you do in your day off when you do when you don't dance how do you relax do you have a day off <laughs> first question do you have a day off okay i love 
fitness. Fitness. I love cooking. Yeah. Sleep. <laughs> Sleep. Yeah. Take rest. Yeah. Like actually, the, the kind of the same answer is like improving the lifestyle because yeah. it's fitness. It means like how can I improve like other exercises, stretching exercises, mm -hmm. strength exercises. So the, the success of dancing is more the. Uh, consequence of your lifestyle like not definitely the success of depending you have to define success in that uh, way but uh, like the fitness what, what she said is like okay how you prepare your body because you not only for dancing you're doing the workouts and the stretches like it's to feel good in your body yeah. and as a consequence you feel good when you dance in your body uh, and the same with, like with with cooking it is cooking because we we definitely love eating very yeah. healthy yes and like okay how this can we improve important. when we for example when we travel in some festivals you sometimes you don't you don't know where or what you are going to eat this whole like ah. midnight pizza mm. and like how to stay fast healthy food, yeah. fast food and this so many times you bring a lot of fruit and, and oats and everything to what can we carry with us that give us the energy, the because you don't want to be like super yeah. full yeah. stomach and feel heavy, especially for the shows yeah. because digestion is confusing. And the third thing, what she said, sleeping, of course, in general, like how to relax, like sleeping. I we love a lot, also meditation. Meditation, like, like, yes, a lot. So, and but this is all connected with dancing. So dancing is not like work day off. It's during day off, we still do something that dancing is benefit has its benefits uh -huh. from that. It's very interesting. Yeah, you have to take care. I mean, if you wanna be physically good, mentally good, you have to do the things that make you better. Yes. And I I offer you one game. I'm gonna say something, and if you are thinking that you are the person, then you have to point you, <laughs> or maybe if you are not and is the other person, then you point to the other person. Okay. okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who gets more angry in the in the course in the trainings? <laughs> yeah, always. <laughs> it, it, it's improving. It's improving. Okay. Who who is always late? Or nobody? Maybe you? No. Um, like mm -hmm. we. We arrive at the same time. Yeah, okay, that, that's okay. Together then... late or together early. Yes, it's true. Yes. <laughs> Who has more passion? Who is more passion? Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who gets more nervous in the shows? In there. In shows or before the shows? The shows. The shows. Okay. <laughs> And the last one, who do you send this interview to? Ah, to be the next one. For yeah, the to be the next one for the interview. Aha! Kick on Christine. They will hate us, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? So thank you very much, Christine Noor. It was amazing with you. Un saludo. Adios. <laughs>